I think it's time that we take down Sidron. Let's bring him down to justice. Plan work to treat. You did what had to be done with the Tasker. I know you held out hope, but it's what she would have wanted. The Tasker can rest now. Even if I wavered in the moment, there's no way she saved herself from that ship. I'm sorry you lost your friend. In her final moments, I'm sure she counted you as a friend as well. Surprises here. But your shoulders separated. If you come with me to Sick Bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh thank you. I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. I wonder what she's gonna say about it. She normally whinges about everything we do. <laughs> I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chovak. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him, but I can just imagine the look on his face. You know what? I wanna see him too. It'll be nice to get one piece of normalcy. I'm sure we can count on him for that. I can't believe it! You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it! That about sums it up. They're gonna be teaching this at the Academy for years to come. Yeah, they will. I mean it! Everybody's gonna learn how you pulled it off! Yeah, when they do, make sure they get my name right. D-I-A-Z. Diaz. It's Lars too. I'm sure no one will forget. I heard about Bell. Is Miranda? As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. She's a hell of an officer, but none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. We'll just have to step up and work that much harder to help Captain Rydek. True. It's gonna take all of us. <clears throat> Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Agreeable. Is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. It is agreeable to see you as well, sir. I concur. You should know your absence has left engineering terribly short-handed. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule. On both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. Seems like you could use some help around here. We're ready to go to work. I'd like to catch my breath for at least a few minutes, Carter. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. Bro, afterwards, this guy's putting us to work. I tended to an Illidian earlier. Major Sarlet Arminta? Ah, yes. I met him at the negotiations. I never would have imagined I'd be here, on the same ship, working together with our oppressors. But now that I am, 
I can imagine a future where the Hotari and Elidians are no longer enemies. Good. I always hoped for peace, but it seems so far away. There's still a lot of bad blood. Peace is often fleeting. If there's a chance, you should take it. Peace with our former enemies may be hard for some to accept, but it's what my people need. Oh, that's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. Personally, I'm against the needless destruction of innocent life forms, so I'm glad you transported the Taconian crystals onto the ship. But Lieutenant Bedrosian obviously feels otherwise. He's foolish. And right now, you need the full support of your bridge crew. Being an effective leader requires trust, but an issue as divisive as this can create discord. I still need and value contrary opinions. I don't want everyone agreeing with me when they feel otherwise. Oh, you'll know when Lieutenant Bedrosian doesn't agree with something. She's not shy about making her opinion known. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. You'll have to work to regain Lieutenant Bedrosian's trust, but if she's removed from consideration, it comes down to Westbrook or Ermod. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, but ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. Is Ermot the blue guy? He really couldn't go wrong with neither of them. I don't mind saying I consider Commander Ermont a strong candidate for the role. He'd be a popular choice with the crew. And bring a steadiness to the position that others might lack. That's what we need. Certainly not a controversial choice. But then, some may perceive that as playing it safe. Sometimes safe's the best route. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. Captain She's got no chance of being promoted. I'll meet you inside. Not a chance. I'm here to officially tender my resignation from the crew of the USS Resolute. I cannot in good conscience continue to serve aboard this ship. Not while the interests of the enemy take precedent over the safety of the crew. We need your help. Lieutenant, we both know how much we need your help and expertise for the coming conflict. I have no one to replace you. I understand, Captain. And I apologize. But my heart is not in it any longer. And to stay would be a disservice to us both. My door is always open if you change your mind. I appreciate that. Yeah, hang your head in shame. You're about to betray... Every civilization that's we'll fighting for peace, Spock you melt. Subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. I'll notify Lieutenant Bedrosian we're about to begin. That won't be necessary. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual. But I trust you have no objections? Talk about moving up in the world. Excellent idea, Mr. Chovak. They deserve to be here. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended, not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these scions. They will be commended. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. There were way more people involved than just me. Not only Petty Officer Edsalar, but we had help from an Elidian officer named Arminta as well. Interesting. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Rindek, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead the Takan and their warship. 
The closest populations are the Hotari and Elydian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Guns. Guns and shit. Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed. Well, as simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. You say that it slows the process, but this doesn't actually stop the Takan from taking over, does it? Correct. I can't be 100% certain, but it appears this is only a short-term solution. Also, it requires a much larger dose to be effective. Mm. We don't have enough Deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good then. The use case I'd suggest is that it could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. That raises the question, what is the mission? Assuming the Aphelion uses shields of some kind, I don't expect it will be easy to bypass their defenses. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. So we could destroy it from the inside. I'm not exactly sure how, but that's the idea. So it's like jujitsu. We use their attack and turn it against them. That's the idea. Good. We'll keep thinking on it. I'd rather not have to take a direct hit to punch back. There might be some other way we can turn their strength into a weakness. We'll need to prepare a boarding party, if it comes to that. Petty officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't like the engineering mission that took you to the Zeldi. Do you really have some special insights that a tactical team wouldn't? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Sabotage. Just surviving won't be enough this time. Sabotage is kind of becoming our specialty. We'll find a way to get the job done. Well, he certainly has the swagger for it. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. With the help of Portal, he should be part of the away team. Agreed. I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? 
I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. We're at our best when our backs are against the wall. Now's our time to show what we're made of. Let's bring the pain. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsilar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The resolute command codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek for control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval. Beta, 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7, Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Alpha 3. Whiskey. Voice authorization, Rydek. Alpha 3. Whiskey. Captain's codes transferred. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. Definitely Commander Ermot. I do like this guy. But this guy we need. I am proud to name Commander Ermot as my new first officer, effective immediately. Congratulations. Thank you, Captain. I promise I won't let you down. Computer, Commander Ermot is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4, Lima. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain Rydek! Excuse me for a minute. This... this is just unbelievable, unacceptable, inexplicable! To be the most senior officer on the bridge, and to be passed over again? It was bad enough when you went to Ermont with the information about Captain Solano being compromised. But this? I've never felt more humiliated. Listen, I know you're disappointed. I would be too in your position. But considering our history and what we're up against, I had to decide what would be best for all of us. Which is why I chose Commander Ermont. He's not even close to being first officer material. He's little more than a bureaucrat who's never set foot off the ship. That is a serious liability at a time when we need experience. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance against the Scions. You're entitled to your opinion, but I completely disagree with your assessment. Commander Ermont is an extremely competent professional who's more than up to the task, and he'll be an excellent first officer. You drove Petrosian away? Now this? If you're not careful, you might not have any crew left, even if we do survive. But we will survive. That's the point. Better to have loyal crew Ridiculous. than a big crew. And this is why you don't get the position, because you're a big fairy. Throwing your toys out the pram, you can't have anybody like that in a position of power. You need someone level-headed. Otherwise, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. I don't understand. Give me everything she's got, but it doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. I know the process, Captain. With your permission, I'll go handle it. Of course.
this guy sabotages us. manages to catch us, there's nothing we can do. We're no match for Taconian technology. Not to mention the shield frequencies. As if that wasn't enough of a challenge of its own. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. We're being hailed by the Aphelion. Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. You thought you could run. That I would let you escape so easily after taking what's mine? How pathetic and predictable. At least you can take solace knowing you'll be a far braver to calm than you were as a cowardly Kobliad. Is it any wonder your people perished? If your every instinct is to run from a fight? You can talk all you want. But I'll never be Takan. Never will be here sooner than you think. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so desired. You keep chatting mad shit, no one cares. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. Red alert! Pandar, get us out of here! Devastating. Uh, hopefully that didn't transform any of our staff. But I'm not reading any structural damage. Shit, they've turned him into Takan. They were targeting the crew, not the ship. Captain, we have to respond with force. Return fire. Torpedoes. Don't let them attack without a counter. Fire photon torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. No damage from the photon torpedoes, Captain. Their shields are still at full strength. The Aphelion's just too powerful. Damage report from the lower decks. Still can't get through on the comms, Captain. If that was the bioforming ray, we have to assume there are now Takan on board the Resolute. They could all be Takan at this point. Or will be soon enough. Where's Westbrook with the internal comms? The communication system seems to be rebooting, but I'll keep trying to raise Westbrook. Good. Here are your new tricorders. Now go, get to the transporter room. Live long and prosper, brother.
Go on, go, 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 go. Oh We don't know who's on what side, Carter. If they're aiming a gun at you, they're not on your side. Come on! And again, that that's also true for the other side. They might think we're them. It's tricky. It's a shit show, this. Transporter room one. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. <laughs> Oh, what a legend. These are concentrated iridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Now, take it right before if you can get the Takan to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. We need to tunnel through the shields. Oh, we slightly hit there, have we? There we go. There's a problem. We don't have enough power to make the jump. Boost me, baby. Divert power from the side. The signal is now resolved. Cheers, bro. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. I agree. Thanks for that. No need. We must be on our way. I am Portal 63. Guardian of the Decon Empire. Nice to meet you, uh, Portal. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. Energize. Energize, son. Yo, this is the hit squad. We've got this. Even to me, it's almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. And it won't see one ever again. No turning back now, Portal. We are where we need to be. Now, we just have to do the job. You are speaking my language. Resolute, come in! We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. The signal's gone. Are they there? Did you get them? They didn't make it. We don't have time to mourn. Gotta be quick. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. Get served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am saturated in Taconian power readings. I can't feel the source just yet. Low level. Can't I can't get this?
This way. Nothing. I can't reach anyone on the lower decks. We're on our own. Internal comms appear to be fully operational again. That bioforming ray may have transformed dozens of crew members on the lower decks. Fighting the Aphelion is bad enough. The last thing we need is an insurrection on our own ship. Which means we have a narrow window of time to cut them off before. spread throughout the decks. We'll never know who to trust. Lock down the affected areas immediately. Close the bulkheads and erect the containment fields. No one is allowed in or out without my authorization. There could be crew members who weren't affected who could get locked inside. That's okay. That's a risk we'll have to take. Locking down the lower decks. What happens if some of the bioformed manage to escape? How should the crew engage them? Or should they? We don't want suspicion to run rampant. Please are set a stone. Some ground rules would help. We should be cautious. If a situation arises, I want phasers set to stun. Of course. I'll let the crew know to proceed with caution. Commander Westbrook has been gone for quite some time. The comm system he went to investigate. It's near the affected area. Commander Westbrook. One of his turn. Commander Westbrook, are you there? Computer shutdown initiated. Westbrook. He's the one who initiated the shutdown. Shit. That's impossible. We have ten minutes until the computer core shuts down and all systems are completely offline. A complete loss of all critical ship functions. Only the captain can override it. But the computer core itself. I'm on my way. With me. Yes, Westbrook's getting a promotion. To the grave. Stop! Identify yourselves! We're just trying to figure out what's happening. Ah, to hell with it. Pow, 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 pow! You have to get to the computer core! I would shoot first and ask questions later as long as they set a stun would be good. Because nobody will know. Nobody will know who's anybody. It's best to shoot first. Right, let's go. Captain, are you in here? Are you alright? Bullshit. Vermont asked me to come find you. No, he didn't. It came the minute I heard you might be in danger. I'll get this door open. I think I remember the code. Hope you haven't been hurt, Captain. It's not safe here. Chaos in the halls. Just about. No chance. No. Termination sequence in progress. Damn it! Not taking any chances. You cockroach. These phases are a bit shit. This didn't stun nothing.
Okay, let's play with this huh? nipple. Come on, baby. I'm done playing games with you, Captain. You're only delaying the inevitable. Wrong. Computer termination sequence in progress, awaiting Captain's authorization. Headshot. Cancel computer shutdown. Bro, how many bolts does this guy take? Oh, twist his nibble. Twist it. Oh yes, palm to the face. Oh, get wrecked. Jiu Jitsu, bitch. Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu. You won't kill me. It goes against everything you believe in. Besides, you and I, we have history. What are you talking Westbrook about? Westbrook and I have history. You're not him. Okay. Okay. Bang. Shoot Stun. Stay down. Awaiting captain's authorization. Maybe we made a mistake there. Like in the events leading up to that, we probably had our phaser set to tickle instead of stun, and we just put it on stun there. Morons. Awaiting captain's authorization. Cancel computer shutdown. Voice authorization, Rydic. Alpha. Three. Whiskey. Termination sequence cancelled. <sighs> the belly of the beast. Oh shit. Stealth guys. These are the arteries of power coming from the cotabula at the heart of the Aphelion. I can feel it coursing through my own body. Look there. I cannot move as freely inside this ship. Those emitters are why. If they were deactivated, I could travel past this chamber without setting foot in it. Only Takan can use Takan technology. How do I turn them off? Place these on the emitters. It will suppress their effect. The guards none the wiser. Got it. I'm coming too. If we both get caught, it's over. If it's just me, you can try again after I fail. Well then, don't screw it up. I'll be like a rat up a drain pipe. Yeah, okay. Lure them to the console. I'll give it a shot. 
worked. Better move. Interact with console to draw enemies to them. Okay. I think we're okay for now. Two to go. Bro, this ledge is like a meter and a half wide. We could just walk there. <laughs> we, could just, we could just run past that, lads. I've been on narrower bridges. Right, where's the guards? Where are ya? We probably need to be up the stairs. Actually, no, we don't. Not yet. Oh, it's further down. Oh God, I didn't, lads, I made a complete mistake there. I thought that was actually the console we needed to use, but it worked out okay. Whoo, damn. There it is. We were stood square in front of that guy and he was like, what? Who there? You think he turns round? I don't think he does. Told you, like a rat of a drain pipe. One left. There it is. Whoop, there it is. How do I get to that? Shit. Oh my god. Oh shit. Bruh, I am the knight. Well done. <laughs> Let's this get guy. Out of here. Oh, 
more emitters. Guess we can't teleport the rest of the way. But there's still guards here. I don't think there are any. That craft can take us to the main power chamber. No way we can make that jump. When I was younger, maybe. Can he not just grab it and pull it towards? I seen him moving boulders earlier on. Huh. This might control that craft. Portal, a little help? I should be able to bring it to us. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nice shoot. Oh, the crystals. Perfect. Maximum stun. How are they getting up? Something's different about the Takan here. Stunning isn't an option. Go lethal. Get in. Oh, they've got their own ship. Bullshit. Guardian. He's with them. Sink it. We have to sink that other ship. Shoot exactly. the pilot. Enemy pilot must be shot down. The force field protecting the pilot will take a lot of damage before it goes down. Okay. Shoot me on ship. Got him. Get wrecked. I've sunk your battleship. Guardian! You saw what they did to our ancestors. How do you stand with them? Good lad, good lad. Don't let them get in your head. We've left them behind. I've seen it with my own eyes. They're not real, Takan. Imposters. We were conquerors, not parasites. The souls I pushed your captain to spare will not be used for this end. I'll tell you what these scions are. They're fanatics. 
They won't stop for anything. Yes. So, we must be fanatical in return if we are going to stop them. No hesitation. This ends here. I figured without me you didn't stand a chance. It's about I'm time. for the ship and the crew, not for you. That's all you ever needed to be, baby. I couldn't just sit in my quarters, waiting to get turned into a Takan. Your timing's perfect. We need your help now more than ever. Clearly. They're targeting our engines. With Bioform Takan on board, they'd rather cripple us if they can. Like, come, like, like, lads, like, come on now, right? So what's she been doing? She's been sat in a ca ca cabin playing with herself. What a moron. Imagine going, oh, well, I'm going to throw all my toys out the pram and I'm just going to sit here where the ship I am currently sat on is getting attacked by everybody. But yet I'm not going to lift a finger to do anything. What a moron, lads. As soon as we land and we finish this whole thing, she's getting fired. I'm going to send her to the brig and she's going to prison for the rest of her life for insubordination. Silly cow. If we lose the engines, we can't avoid the bioforming ray. Brace for impact! Is that the USS Enterprise? They're here! Oh, back up, baby. Feel the might of my battle force. We're being hailed by the USS Titan. Put them through. Sorry to keep you waiting, Resolute. We got here as fast as we could. Looks like you've got your hands full with this monster. We're damn glad to see you, Captain. We could use all the help we can get. I told you I'd be here. So, what are we up against? They're powering up for another attack. We have to warn them. Open a channel to all Starfleet ships immediately. Starting emergency transmission. This is Captain Jara Rydek of the USS Resolute. The ship we're fighting is armed with a bioforming ray that can transform your entire crew instantaneously. Avoid being hit at all costs. And remember, they have our shield algorithms, so take preemptive evasive action. Uh oh. It's only a matter of time before they get their bearings. And when they do, they're going to turn against us. The sooner we attack them, the better. They can all be to come. Or none of them. We can't assume anything yet. I need an alternative. And we can't afford to be wrong. I can't attack another Federation ship. I need alternatives. Full impulse power. Take us in for a closer look. Aye, Captain. Can we not just disable the ships? Blow the engines? That's not a Starfleet ship. The Takan have it! Shields at full power! Shields are holding against the Pawtucket's attack. For now at least. Torpedoes! Fire photon torpedoes! Firing! Shields at 60%! Shit! Heavy damage reported in astrometrics. Fire everything we've got. Actually, evasive maneuvers. Handar, evasive maneuvers. Get us out of here. Aye, Captain. Don't worry, Resolute. We've got your back. Aye, aye, Captain. Their weapon systems are offline. Captain, I suggest we minimize the collateral damage. Destroy their engines and we can turn our focus to the Aphelion. I agree. It's the most prudent thing to do. Cripple it. I hope they would do the same if the situation was reversed. Take out their engines. Fire when ready. Targeting their engines. Commencing fire. Now.
Good, good call. Oh my god. Bro, why are these things not initiating evasive maneuvers that seem to be getting caught in the beam all at once? Bro, you can't have three ships. The Ophelian is too much for any one of us to take on alone. But collectively, we might just have a shot. On our way. Full impulse power. Aye, Captain. To attack the ray. Target the bioforming ray. Fire photon torpedoes. Firing photon torpedoes. Oh, do we get it? I've lost helm control. I'm trying to re-establish. Weapons and defensive systems are down too. Engine output remains consistent, but it's not reaching its destination. This is what happened to the Enterprise. They're draining our energy. We're caught in it too. I hope the away team finds some way to help. There is a way to disable the Aphelion. It's there. We strike at the heart. I tell you what. Let's call an episode here, lads. When we come back, we're going to strike at the heart of the Aphelion. This ship is going down. It might look like this is a losing battle, but I've got faith in these guys who are the, the sabotage team. They got this. See you in the next one, lads.